What's going on everybody? So today I've managed to bamboozle myself. I snapped the wheel stud just from the back hub and um, I guess today this video is going to be showing how to remove the broken stud and put a new one on. I actually pulled this one off of one of my parts cars and um, I'll show you how to do that and how to put the new one back in. So the first thing we'll do, go ahead and pop the cap off of this. Take the rest of your studs off. You can go ahead and take the drum off. Easily. Now we're going to have to get rid of this stud by simply hammering it through to the other side. So the best way I can do this is, well actually, if you're going to go ahead and remove this off of your parts car first, the best way to remove a stud without damaging the threads, go ahead and put your nut back on and then hit this with a hammer and then when you hammer that through that saves the thread on your parts stud and then you can just go in from behind and put that through so let me show you how to remove this one so you're going to want to just take a punch go from one side and hit it with a hammer Okay, now that's out. So go go ahead and take a look at these. They're basically identical, minus one being broken. And we'll go in from the back. Oh, okay, we're gonna try that again. We'll go in right from behind and just kind of thread her through like that. And now this is the part that's gonna be a little bit annoying to do, but we can go ahead and throw it on a nut. And what this is going to do is, as you tighten this nut, it's going to go ahead and pull this into place to lock it in to be level with the rest of these. Now, because we have this issue where the nut is already bottomed out before it even touches the axle hub, um, we're going to have to put a spacer in between there. ahead and stacked a bunch of these washers up and we're going to try to pull it through this way. See how far and we got this one. Okay, it's pretty much in there. So that's why I ended up doing it. I just put the drum back on and stacked a couple of washers. Now um, there was a lot of torque there, so a couple of these washers literally just got bent out of place. Um, this isn't the best way to do it. But it'll work in a pinch. Uh, the reason why you don't want to do this is because you could overstretch and torque the, the stud and basically make it brittle enough to break again. But right now, for what we need it to do, it works good. So now that that's all pretty much in there and installed, we can go ahead and put our drum back on. Uh, got your little screws here.
Perfect. You can go ahead and put your wheel back on and you're pretty much done this. Yeah, pretty simple. So you're just gonna push the other stud out, pull another one in. It's, uh, it's the way to do it if uh, you only need to do just one stud that's broken. Uh, keep in mind these things snap pretty easily if you try to over torque them, they don't need a lot of torque. Um, another thing, um, it's probably best to do this type of, to uh, remove the axle itself and the hub and press it in. Again, so it doesn't damage the threads, it doesn't uh, over torque the stud, doesn't pull on the threads or anything like that. But um, that's basically, that's it. I guess the only thing to do now is you gotta test on her a little bit. Give her some beans and see if she doesn't fall off again. Alright, take care.